Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? If you are also frustrated with the blurry recording quality and frame drops problem in OBS Studio, then this video is going to clear any confusion related to the recording quality settings in OBS Studio. Before starting with the video, let me give you a quick demonstration. So this is the uh, recording at the default settings, I mean before applying the particular settings and this one is after applying the settings. So let me quickly open the videos. As you can clearly see, this one is having a very blurry picture quality. If I go to desktop and you can see all the icons are so much blurry. And if you go to this PC, you can see the quality. Uh, now let us go to the second recording. And this one is having a better quality. You can see the icons are more crisp and clear. If uh, I go to this PC, you can see this is way more clear if you can't uh, see the difference then you can uh, increase the video resolution in youtube so let me quickly close the things and go to obs so this is the default user interface of obs studio at the bottom right corner you can see this is settings you can click on it or you can go to file and then settings so once you click on settings you will see this pop up uh, we are going to make some changes in these settings but before doing that we have to go to settings of our computer and then in the left panel select system then select display and then under display resolution please make sure the maximum resolution is selected in my case this is 1920 by 1080 pixel so let us now close and open the obs and over here uh, let us open the settings panel again and now first uh, go to advanced section and here under process priority select high this is uh, by default set as normal so now go to video section and this is the place where you need to do the things uh, by default this was selected as uh, 1280 by 720 uh, although my canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixel you can see so you have to make sure that the canvas resolution and the output resolution these two are same so i will select 1920 by 1080 pixels now if you are using a 4K monitor or a 2K monitor, you can change it uh, accordingly. Like in case of 2K monitor, you can change it to 2560 by 1440 pixel. So I will not do that uh, over here. Let me go to the default settings, select the drop down and select the maximum resolution from here. Okay, now uh, under FPS value, if you are uh, using this recording for general purposes, for demonstration purposes or any other work, then in 13, 30 FPS is more than enough. But if you are recording a gameplay, then you can select 60 FPS. Anyway, I will go by 30 FPS. Now after advanced and video, let us go to the output section. This is the most important section as there are a lot of options you can see. First select the output mode as advanced. Now uh, we will select recording, uh, we will not change anything over the streaming section as we are customizing the OBS for recording only. So let us now select the recording tab. And now please make sure the standard is selected in the type. Now uh, you can change the recording path from here but please make sure that the recording path whatever you select this is located on the SSD or any other faster drive. I am having a G drive and the C drive uh, in my SSD so I will select the video section. Okay now let us go to the address bar and you can copy the path from here just right click on it and click on copy. Uh, now under OBS recording path, you can paste it over here or you can leave it uh, as it is by default. Anyway, now let's go to recording format. This is the place where most of the people makes mistakes. They select .mp4 format. I know this is the most compatible format for most of the media player and editor, but uh, you should never select .mp4 over here. This is because if somehow uh, your recording gets interrupted due to power cut or any other reason, uh, then the complete video gets uh, corrupted. So you should never select .mp4. You should select .mkv over here uh, and later on remarks the video into .mp4. I will show you later on how to do that. Or you can select .mov if you don't want to go with the mkv format. Uh, I will always select uh, the .mkv. Uh, if you are using Apple devices, then you can select quicktime.mov but uh, I will always prefer .mkv. Okay, now under video encoder, uh, I will select quicksync h.264 as I am using an integrated GPU and I don't have any uh, discrete GPU. 
if you are having any discrete gpu like nvidia gpu or any other uh, dedicated gpu then you will see uh, there is another option like uh, nvidia nvenc h.264 you can select that one but uh, it will not show over here because i am not having any uh, discrete gpu so i will select quicksync h.264 the only thing that i will request you that never select x264 this is because it consumes a lot of cpu and there may be uh, some performance issue and any frame drops in gaming so i will go with the quick sync option now audio encoder keep it at default now uh, i always prefer single audio track uh, if you want any advanced editing in audio then you can select multiple uh, track and separate the audio but uh, i will go with the audio track uh, single audio track okay now uh, please make sure the rescale output is disabled now comes the most important settings under red control you have to select cqp and the cqp value should be somewhere between 16 to 20 i always prefer 18 anyway uh, now select the best quality this is the slowest method if you are using a very high end computer you can select that one uh, but uh, i will select uh, slower method and please make sure the profile is selected as high and keyframe interval you can select as 2 seconds if you select 2 seconds uh, as a keyframe interval then you can uh, select the latency as normal and keep everything as it is please make sure the latency is normal and now uh, keep the rest of the things as it is you can change the audio settings just uh, before the just after the recordings uh, i will not show it over here let us go to advanced and there is another settings uh, you can see automatically remarks to mp4 what is it uh, let me quickly show you a demonstration so let us uh, create a recording okay uh, now if i open the recording on the video section you can see this is uh, as dot mkv format now go to files and remarks recording and select the three dots and now uh, go to the video sections and select that particular video that is in the mkv format and now you can see this is in the mkv format and this is dot mp4 click on remarks and within a fraction of seconds your video will get remarked now i'll just go to that particular space and you can see uh, this is dot mp4 format it has been created so uh, if i now go to obs and go to settings and go to advanced and now if i uh, check this box what it will do it will automatically create a remarks uh, every time you record a particular video uh, let me give you a quick example okay so you can see after clicking on uh, stop recording it will automatically remarks the recording if i go to this pc you can uh, navigate to the video section and you can see this is dot mkv and this is dot mp4 file format you can now delete the mkv file uh, the, you can see the size is almost similar 5.52 mb now you can delete the mkv file and go with the mp4 file uh, if your video editor doesn't support mkv anyway this was the complete video and please let me know in the comment box if there is any issue you're facing while proceeding with the steps and uh, after applying all the steps how it's working on your device please let me know in the comment box so see you in the next video till then stay safe